Hey guys, your buddy Horsticuffs here, and it appears our next stop on this crazy cuckoo train is some kind of factory. And again, we're full of bad dudes who may or may not be union. I really don't know. Uh, wherever we are, they have a startling, uh, you know, uh, disrespect for safety law. OSHA is probably not going to be thrilled about that. I don't know what they're building over there. There's some kind of cars or robots. Uh, very repetitive, whatever it is. Uh, okay, speaking about repetitive, this fat guy is just laughing and belly flopping. You know, this kind of reminds me of uh, you know, there's been a lot of different beat em ups. You know, back in the day, it seemed like they always had some kind of stage like this. Some kind of industrial stage. I guess you can only kick so many asses on so many dirty, gritty streets. This guy's name was Buffett. Or Buffet, I don't know. Lovely Tiger Boys again. That's nice to see them as always. Again, in case you're seeing, I, I'm using the chill mode mod uh, just because it's, you know, it's. I suck at video games. There's no other way to phrase that. I'm not really sure the purpose of these walls. I don't know in what sort of industrial design you take place. Oh, pipe, that's always fun. Oh, damn it, nope. Get, get back here, pipe. Damn it. Pipe! Pipe, I love you! Fuck, I'm never gonna get that pipe. Putting in double time over here. Oh my god, pipe. There'll be more pipes. Noah. You know, the plane that carried the, uh, you know, one of the nuclear bombs in World War II was the Enola Gay. approaching the final stage before you know it and so the conclusion of extra ninjas and whip chicks is not unheard of oh good okay. yeah, this game definitely ramped up in difficulty even even though I'm using the infinite lives uh, trick you know it's like it's definitely a pretty steep ramp up that hasn't gone in the direction of some of these games and had people with guns. There's no feeling worse in the world than what you should do with just two bare hands and they throw dudes with guns at you. Even in the turtle games at that. shot for the team. Okay, moving forward. Ah, uh, now, I can tell you right now what this reminds me of. Fucking Technodrome. 
Turtles in Time, I believe it is. Or maybe original Turtles arcade game? You were on like some kind of fucking horizontal elevator there. It looks very, very similar. Uh, that worked out for my advantage. You know, anytime you can get everybody on one side of you, that's a good move. Damn it, just fucking sliding. Sliders with sliding in their friggin' white castle. But these dudes are almost done with. And they suplex. You know, there's a welcome development. Except for exactly the same here. Alright, that can happen every day. Oh fuck. I hate these fucking jetpack guys. What's this asshole's name? Griffiths. I've run into him before. First time I grappled a dude in a game like this. Double Dragon arcade version, I believe. I forget where the fuck it was, but that, that shit's magical, you know? The first time you realize you can grab somebody. Okay, let's see. They always do goofy names for the Kung Fu guys Sparrow and. Sparrow and. Tempest? Is it Tempest? I think, I think it's interesting. Well, that's not so bad. Ah, I hate when you fucking hold you like that. Nevertheless, I'm confident I will overcome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm still not quite sure how to fucking do that. Is this something I can whip out every week in the I was, I was, I was, I was, I don't know. Anyways, he's almost fucking dead with his fucking tiger in the ass. Oh yeah. <sighs> and a belly flopper, you know we got a fucking knife dude. That's okay though, that's okay, they cannot be. I got infinite lives so I can take from now until the fucking heat death of the fucking universe to kill these fuckers. And I'm very pinched. Oh yeah. yeah. This game really does have some lovely chunky pixel art. You can ever throw a knife in Streets of Rage 2. I have tried every possible fucking 
combination of buttons because there have been many times that Tori and I would have been a great fucking tactical decision and it just isn't isn't doable as far as I can tell. Which is a damn shame. You probably will never get that reference. Oh my fucking god, well now I know what they're building in a fucking factory. Robots. Molecule and particle. Those are kind of goofy names. And those are kind of goofy robots, but that's cool. That's cool. I'd rather know than not know. Pleasant turn of events. Still seems a bit beyond the pale for you know a criminal syndicate in New York City, but what the hell? Now this kind of reminds me. I mean, like it probably costs millions, if not billions, of dollars for research and development. These guys. And what practical purpose can they serve other than getting into street fights? I mean, it makes me think about Ed 209 from RoboCop. I mean, fucking. Now, RoboCop is a program that OCP has developed to replace human officers with far superior cyborg officers, okay? He has the same, like, fucking, what's that word for these two legs? Uh, fucking. Ah, oh, shit, 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 fucking. Bipedal design. Okay, he's got the same bipedal design we do. He can, if we can do it, RoboCop can do it. We can walk upstairs, we can walk downstairs, he can do that, he can get in and out of a car, he can fucking, he can kick a dude through a fucking building, just like us, except we can't do it through a building. And the point is, if a human can do it, Robocop is very capable, more capable than we are, okay? So, the Robocop program shows disturbing signs of, of uh, remembering his human life, okay? So, they're like, you know, fuck this cyborg shit. Fuck this cyborg shit. We cannot control Robocop. Like, you're supposed to be able to... Like, we expected to fucking control Robocop. So, they replace Robocop, the fully capable, fully mobile, fucking fully... Ah, shit. Stated specifically clear. Thank you very much, guys. We'll continue our Robocop talk later. Horse the cops out.